Friday night football game has been canceled, and that's because some players on the Catawba Ridge High School football team have hand, foot, and mouth disease. The varsity team was set to play Audrey Kell tonight. Channel 9's Aaron Edwards is live for us now at Catawba Ridge in Fort Mill with the latest. Aaron. Yeah, Erica, this was supposed to be the team's last game of the year, but a school spokesperson tells me a handful of students here at Catawba Ridge got hand, foot, and mouth disease, and they didn't want to risk spreading the illness. Now, I'm told the school sent out a recording to not just the football team's family members, but to all parents, letting them, letting the, letting them know that hand, foot, and mouth disease was going around here. Now, school leaders say they'll be sanitizing locker rooms, Sporting equipment, bathrooms, and desks throughout the school now. And the school has contacted the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control. According to DHAC, hand, foot, and mouth disease usually lasts anywhere from one to three weeks. It causes sores in your mouth and a rash on your hands and feet, and it's spread through direct contact. Now, while many parents and students understand why the game was canceled, they're still disappointed they won't be able to see that last game of the year, including a grandmother I spoke to who was looking forward to seeing her granddaughter at the game. She's on the dance team at the Catawba Ridge High School and was looking forward to watching her dance for the first time. And I understand this is the last game, so I may not get to see her at all. A school spokesperson says the football team was not eligible for playoffs this year because it was the team's first year. And Erica, that last game will not be rescheduled. All right. I know it's disappointing for them out there, but of course, first choice is to keep everybody safe. Thank you, Aaron. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is not usually serious. Nearly all people recover from it within seven to 10 days without medical treatment.